Hi, in this video, I'm gonna answer a particular question in the theory test. So I'm gonna do a video series of questions that people struggle with that I see on my courses. Now, if you struggle with a particular question on the theory, let me know in the comments below and I will do a video on it, explaining it in detail. As you know, I like to keep things nice and simple. So in this video, this week's question is gonna be about coasting. So do you struggle with the coasting questions like my pupils do on our courses? Now I'm gonna show you the two questions in particular that comes up. There's this one, why could it be dangerous to keep the clutch down or select neutral for long periods of time while you're driving? And then there's this one. What will happen if you hold the clutch pedal down or roll in neutral for too long? Believe it or not, these two questions are the same question just worded differently. And that's why in my previous videos, for those of you who've been on the channel before, know that I always say it's about understanding the theory side of it. So when the question is worded differently, you know what the answer is, but if you try to memorize the answer, when it's worded differently, it's a different answer, that's when you tend to struggle. So those are the two questions that comes up. So I'm gonna explain in a bit more detail what coasting is, and I'm gonna explain what it is on the driving lesson stroke driving test. So I'm gonna jump on my iPad and show you a basic diagram of an engine, what it looks like inside. So you've got two plates, one connected to the engine, and one connected to the wheels. These are called cut clutch plates. The names are relevant, but it's called clutch plates. So when you put the clutch down, that's what's happening. The plates are getting separated from each other. When you bring the clutch up, they get they touch each other. So when you are coasting, technically you've got the clutch down. So let me show you how this really works. You have the clutch down, and you're starting the engine. Take note, the engine plate is spinning. The wheel plate isn't at this precise moment. When you go to move off, you take your time to find what we call a biting point for those of you taking driving lessons. So always take your time to find the bite. Remember, from the examiner's point of view, he wants you to move off first time safely, not first time quickly. So you can see the biting point now is when the two plates are just touching each other and the engine plate is making the wheel plate turn. Now, if you squeeze a lot of gas at this point, you're gonna get a lot of rev in, but take note of the wheels. The wheels are still turning slowly. So technically you're still moving off under control. And this is why it's really important that you know how to find the bike and you have good clutch control. But in the ideal world, what you want is a gentle amount of gas. And then from the biting point upwards, you bring up slowly, still bring up slowly, and the two plates are fully touching, you squeeze the gas. Now, when you go to change gear, when you go around the corner, especially if you go around corners in second gear, this is what normally happens. The pupil comes off the gas and coasts with the clutch down. Now that's what coasting is, when the two plates aren't fully touching each other. So the, the two plates are doing their own separate thing. Now for the theory test, the reason why coasting is a bad driving technique is because it's lack of engine control or lack of brake control. So take a look at this. If I make both plates touch and I squeeze the gas, take note, both plates are going slowly, um, going fast, sorry. So both plates are going fast. When I come off the gas, take note the engine is slowing the wheels down, which in turn is helping the car slow down. And that's what we call engine braking. And that's why you need the clutch up as long as possible so it helps the car slow down. And obviously if I had the brake as well, I'd be using the brake to slow down, which gives me time to put the clutch down, change the second gear if I'm going around the corner and slowly bring the clutch up so the two plates are fully touching and that gives me the engine braking. But like I said, if you go around the corner with the clutch down in second gear, then technically you're coasting. If you put the clutch down too early, you're coasting so the car can pick up speed because it's free rolling. And that's what coasting is. Coasting is a lack of control, lack of engine braking for the theory test and coasting for a driving test is going around the corner with a clutch down or coasting for a long period of time with a clutch down for way too long with a car can pick up speed. So hopefully that makes a bit more sense in terms of the coasting question and coasting for the, theory, for the driving test. Let me know in the comments below if you struggle with any particular question and I will dive a little bit deeper with a video. And hopefully you got some value from this. If you did, like, comment and subscribe and then go off and watch a video that I'll link up here somewhere.